Welcome 7 13, what time oh. is it? <laughs> Goodness. Oh, you saw it surprised me. <laughs> Were you asking me? I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. It's, it's Ryan PC Trimble time. A little late, too. What'd you say? We're running a little late. We are, yes. It's 7 13 instead of 7 11. 7 11. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's get, get this right show on. on the road. So, uh, before I break this computer, good morning, everyone. We're going to look. And we're just training today. First off, we're going to talk about a movie that I hope Kim has seen, and she did confirm that she has seen it because I don't believe that she's a real person if she hasn't. You did, Ghostbusters. Why did you say all that? You already know I saw it. I know, but I wanted to tell the people all because right. I wrote in the script, Whatever. and so if they're reading along, Move anyway, on. talks of a third Ghostbusters film have been swirling for a very long time, but they took a, a sort of a weird, interesting turn earlier this week when Variety reported that Sony has asked director Paul Feig to direct a Ghostbusters film. Now, it would be a, re a reboot or like a continuation of the original, but it's not exactly the third Ghostbusters movie. Now get this, this is interesting. Feig is actually gunning for a fully female cast of Ghostbusters. <laughs> now, yeah, he is he's known recently for doing movies like Bridesmaid and The Heat and Coming Up Spy and Just Do It, which are starring, you know, huge female casts like Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph. Um, so it was sort of interesting news when they found out that they were looking at him to helm this movie. And then of course he said he wanted a all female team of Ghostbusters, which would be, I think would be amazing, because I just think, basically take bridesmaids and put them in Ghostbusters outfits, and I'd watch that for the rest oh, of my life. Oh, that would be a good one. Wouldn't it be amazing? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, I've seen that movie too. Good, all right. <laughs> yes, that would be good. Yeah, but you know, they've been talking about making a third Ghostbuster movie like since the day the second one came out. I was gonna say, oh, wow. it's because when you said that, <laughs> I, I start, there isn't three? There's not three, yeah. Yeah, then they, they killed it. They two. wanted to, but Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd have sort of been going back and forth about well, they should or shouldn't do it for a while. And yeah. Uh, I think they should, if they do it with mm. the female Ghostbusters, yeah. there should be a Bill Murray sighting in the movie. Somewhere Maybe a client there. or something, well, you know, he's having trouble. Or just kind of walking they, down the street. And, <laughs> right. They, they kind of bump the, shoulders. He could be the Bosley of the <laughs> right. yeah. Ghostbusters, right? I feel like it would take place in the same world, so like the, they could have cameos or something, and yeah. hopefully. In, in, in Re in reincarnation of, of Zool in yeah. Bill Murray's fridge or something like that. <laughs> something I like that. Ooh, yeah, happening. maybe he'll come back as the meanest ghost ever. <laughs> We're on to something, all four of us. There we are. go. Well, Call maybe the director. Talk, talk to us about it. Yeah, the yeah. script is in the works right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of movies and stuff, you know, all actors dream of the day when they can actually earn money for pretending to be other people. But most never dream that they will earn a million dollars per episode for being in a TV show. Well, the three main stars of The Big Bang Theory will be earning that. Jim wow. Parsons, yeah, Kaylee Cuoco, and Jamie Galecki just inked a three year deal that will earn them a million dollars per episode. For a total of, this is disgusting, $90 million. Wow. To top it off, their contracts include bigger shares of the profits from rerun sales and development deals and stuff like that. That seems fair, though. Yes, it, it does It does seem fair. Um, and they had been holding out on starting the next season because they were gunning for these these much, much That always bigger happens. Salaries. Didn't, it the, does. didn't the Friends stars do yeah. the same yep. thing? Yeah, they yeah. Did. Seinfeld did it. Once the show's, and Big Bang Theory is, and I don't want to say the exact number, but I'm pretty sure it is, it, if not the biggest show on television right now, huh. audience share wise, it's one of and the biggest And it's in syndication shows. now, so yeah. I mean, you're even making more coin. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, yeah, it's one of those where it's always on somewhere. It's so. been in my DVR for years. My it's wife loves it. It's yeah, a household wife loves favorite. It. That's for I, sure. I watched a couple episodes. I can't say it's one I, I don't really care yeah. to go back and watch all the time, Me, but yeah. my father loves it. It's, it's yeah, it's a very silly show. I'll my 73-year-old <laughs> retired Marine father loves that show. I don't know. I was like, really, Dad? Okay. It's because of that show my wife wanted to watch Star Wars, which is just aggravated me. <laughs> See, if it does good in the world like that, like getting people interested <laughs> in Star Wars approved? and Star Trek. But you, but you should want to watch Star you. Wars independent of. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but comedy shows that have a laugh track put into them. I think Bob feels the same way I do about the show. Now, before we badmouth anything else, we'll go to our last story and then we'll turn it over again. And, uh, Bob will probably have to fill in a little bit on this story because it's sort of out of my wheelhouse. I didn't warn you about this. It's okay. Um, but the Green Bay Packers, who, as I understand it, are I don't know, a I don't football know who they are. team, <laughs> apparently, I don't, I don't know uh, they have announced someone called Brett Favre. Anyway, yes. he's going to be inducted into their team's Hall of Fame. And also, his number four will be retired from service or play. What do you sure. say? Oh, yeah. Just retire. Uh, <laughs> the team officials made the announcement Monday uh, over in Green Bay. Now, Favre played for the Packers from 92 to 2008 and won three MVP awards and one Super Bowl there. Now, those ceremonies are expected to take place sometime 
next year. But he, if I remember correctly, he retired and unretired like a few times. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So I, I think no, he only won one Super Bowl, though. He's like a Hulk of a man. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I know he's, I guess he's coaching high school football down in Mississippi, I believe. Yeah. But oh, if you home. see, uh, and I obviously we'll see him when they do the inductions. Mm. He must do nothing but work out with yeah. his high school football wow. team he's because he looks like he could come back and almost play linebacker. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. yeah, I did not know that. He's, yeah. he's, got, he's got to be very big and very fit. I think, I think Trimble did a good job with that yeah. story, other than it's Favre. Favre. So yeah, next Brett. time you, you Favre. see Favre, Favre. Yeah. Favre. Favre. Exactly. It's not. No, no. Per, per. See, because because I speak <laughs> French, I always want to say Favre, but I don't. You said this it is correctly. America. Thank you, Kim. You said Thank it you a little, a little intentional misleading, just, that was, just, just for fun. That was really that's helpful. helpful. It's, how, it's how it's spelled, though. That's right. But uh, it's interesting. He's probably yeah. doing some lifting yeah. down there. All right. These guys in the, it looks like West Coast action here. A little GoPro surfing. All right. Just a couple of dudes hanging out at the beach, but then... A third dude decides to join. <laughs> Look at this little guy. I love this. It's adorable. He's, he's, a, he's a seal pup. And, and the coolest thing about this, as I understand, in Matt St- Stanley's video here, is that this happened all organically. They didn't come to the beach looking for seals. Mm-hmm. They, they were certainly not planning on surfing with seals. But the seal just kept going so, after that board, and they so decided happy. to Look go with him. it. And I know at one point, I don't know if it'll, the video will play out long enough, but at one point, the seal surfs alongside Oh. By himself, <laughs> a wave. surfing the wave that's while cool. the guy is surfing with him, and it was because I saw this last night. I thought this is this is, is just a cute. nice little video. That's I cute. love this. I don't. I I worry. You know me, the worry wart. Isn't that still <laughs> supposed to be with a family? It looks kind of little, kind of well, young. They I'm did sure describe the it as a pup, but I mean the way the dudes oh. were talking about it is, it, you know, he he looked healthy and you know. I'm sure, I mean, probably Seal Mother was underwater, like, get back down here, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll go with, I like that one. Like, okay. okay. I, I correct, it's not West Coast, it was from Long Island. Oh, That's yes, what, yeah. <laughs> obviously. That's what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> cool find, though. Yeah, about right. a million views on the <laughs> old video. YouTube. That's a good one. All right, we'll be back after the break. <laughs> 